what's new, what's missing, and the benchmark scores of MIUI 13.0.7.0 India Stable based on Android 12 running on the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Panchi here, back with another video and we have a new build of MIUI 13 based on Android 12 available for the Indian variant of the Xiaomi Mi 11X and the build here is MIUI 13.0.7.0. Now at the time of recording this video, this is in beta stage, but I'm pretty sure it will roll out to you within the next few days or weeks. The first change you will notice is that the security patch here is from June of 2022. Next up, if you go into the storage option here and you will see you have two options for system. The first one is whatever system space Android is occupying. However, you can tap on the arrow on the second one and it will tell you that, you know, 3GB or 2GB is being used by memory extension. Some of it is being used by system logs. And then you also have the other option over here which are necessary for the system to work properly and it may change on time or over time. So that is something new which I had noticed with this build. The next major change which you will notice is that you now get the new MIUI control center. So bam, here it is. This is the new MIUI control center now. You still do not get your data usage in the mobile data tile but you do get the new MIUI 13.5 control center and of course if you are running older versions want to enable this we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video if you go into settings and here and if you go into notification and control center again the image here has also been changed to reflect the new style of the control center and if you go into the option the animation here will also reflect the same when they access the control center there it is you can see they have the new style of the control center other than that i think i might be wrong but this option of additional cards is also new so you can decide whether you want your me smart play and me smart hub options at the bottom or not there it is those options have now since disappeared and you can also choose your android 12 easter egg over here once you enable that the next major change which most of you have been waiting for is the new game turbo is now here out of the box so let us go into the security app game turbo bam here it is this here is the new ui for the game turbo this is how it is going to look I can of course tap on start playing and I have it activated for me remote when I access it bam here it is you do have the new UI over here you can boost your gaming performance you can clear memory free up space floating windows on the left then you have a bunch of other options at the bottom as well so have your do not disturb screenshot screen record settings then you can switch between your sims turn off the screen cast wi-fi voice changer is there for supported devices now again not all devices support voice changer but this specific device over here does support the voice changer and you have your original girl woman and the other options then you also have the option of setting up a timer so it is good to see we finally get the new game turbo then all the dark mode issues i think have been fixed with this update because if you go into settings display and then you go into dark mode once you enable this go into more dark mode options bam here it is per app dark mode control is now present and working without any issues now while we are in the option of display let us also go into font to see if you get the option of me sans font so no the option of me sans font is not there however you do get a new ui in the themes application so the themes application has been updated and another thing you will notice is that you can now change fonts on the fly so if you download any font from their theme store let us try to download this last call one it is going to apply without any issues but the downside here is that if you were to go back to your other font which is your 
Roboto. In this case, you will have to reboot your device. So for you to go back to the stock default Roboto font, you do have to reboot your device and I am not sure why that is the case. And next up, if you press and hold on the empty space and try to access the settings for your launcher, you will notice another new option over here which says don't show text. Once you do that, the text below the icons on your home screen is going to disappear and the icons might get a bit bigger as well. Now, while we are talking about this option, we can go back and see if you get the new MIUI 13 widgets on your home screen or not. No, you do not get that option. However, if you want to enable those on your home screen, we do have a separate video for that, which can be found in the description of the video. Then we can also check whether your screen recorder can record internal audio and microphone at the same time so sound source nope you still do not get the option of internal audio and microphone at the same time power menu again still the old one and with respect to your camera application no new features have been added to the camera app and can you uninstall your system apps let us try that for the weather application as you can see i am not getting any such option to uninstall the system apps so no the option of uninstalling system apps has not yet been implemented either. Next up, we can move over to the benchmark scores. So how do we run our benchmark scores? Well, for starters, everything is run without a case. Ambient temperature is 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. We run Geekbench. So Geekbench was pretty good. The single core score has gone up and then the multi-core score has gone down a bit as compared to the previous release. Then after your Geekbench, we run four back-to-back and -back tutus. Yes, we run four back-to-back and -back tutus to replicate gaming as close as possible. Now the N22 scores were in the 69s. The last one was in the 68. The temperature increase was okay-ish, but in the last few runs, it was definitely more than the previous build. Then with respect to your battery drain, the battery drain was okay. It was as good as the previous build. But moving over to your CPU throttle test, because we run your Geekbench 4 and 2 to back to back, followed by a CPU throttle test. Now in CPU throttle test, the scores have definitely, definitely gone down as compared to the previous build and something strange which i noticed is that it was running the cpu throttle test at 60 hertz refresh rate even though throughout all the tests we keep the refresh rate as 120 and as soon as i would take a screenshot or say touch the screen the refresh rate would change back to 120 so that is like something super strange which i noticed and I think they might be doing it to save the battery, increase performance. I don't know why they are doing it, but that is something which I did notice when I was running the CPU throttle test that it would default back the refresh rate to 60. So what is the final take on this build? Well, all in all, with respect to the features, you do get a good new set of features which should have been there from the first build, but it's better to be late than never now with respect to your benchmark scores again the scores are good but again that strange thing about not stranger things but the strange thing about the refresh rate dipping down to 60 maybe to save the battery or the device is heating up i do not know the root cause but that is something which was definitely happening when i was testing it and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.